Yo, what up guys? I'm out here at Sunshine Apartments for the day. So let's do a quick little update on the motel conversion. This was the old Red Cedar Lodge to Sunshine Apartments. So easy, we close fast and any time that works for you, your house don't need- Yo, what up guys? It is, what is today's date? March 22nd, I believe. And I'm out here at Sunshine Apartments for the day. And I'm getting some updates from my contractors and gonna do a quick little tour. Haven't been out here with a camera in a couple weeks, so let's do a quick little update on the motel conversion. This was the old Red Cedar Lodge to Sunshine Apartments. All right, you can see here that we've got all the doors painted black. We got the new windows in, which is awesome. The sign looks good. We got the property management info. Parking lot cut and divided. Got a bunch of uh, RVs out here from the dealership next door that we leased the land to. Man, these doors look great. Still need to paint some of the shutters, but some of the shutters have been painted like up there. You can see the new windows look awesome. And we even got these door labels on the doors that look so nice. All right, yeah, the shutters, the windows look great. The doors that don't, that aren't the main doors, we did label, but we used lettering that's not, it's not super easy to see unless you're standing really close. And the reason that we did that is because we want people to come and go out of the kitchens versus the bedrooms. The way that this was designed, because it was a motel, um, every unit, essentially, even though we combined, was a room, an individual room. So here's the kitchen family room. And again, we want people to come and go out of this door because it has the nice door labeling. Whereas the one that I just showed you next door would be where there is the bedroom right here with the nice bathrooms. And these bathrooms are really starting to come together. They look great. Got the new surround. The, this is a new tub here. Looks awesome, it's starting to come together. All right, I'm walking in 1105. This is one of the studio apartments here. And I've been told that 1103 and 1105, our tub guy was out and he's prepping the tub to be glazed. We've already put a new backsplash or tub surround in this one. And you can see he's kind of sanded it down and grinding it down. And it is getting ready to be glazed. So in an effort to not mess with all the plumbing, uh, we decided to just go ahead and glaze these tubs instead of ripping them out and replacing them. And in fact, they're in great shape. These are cast iron. I mean, these tubs will last forever as long as we maintain them and, and you know keep them in good working order, which is what we're doing. So that's really, really good. And you can see the kitchen is in with the countertops over at this unit. This is one of the smaller units. This is a studio. We don't have a ton of these studio units, uh, but we do have some. We have studio units. We also have one bed, one bath units. We have two bed, two bath units, and then of course the studio units. There's a mix of a couple different types of units here in this complex, which is awesome. All right, here is 1103, and there's a tenant living in this one right now, but these will be combined, and we'll rip a hole in the wall here and put a door in at some point. This unit hasn't been touched quite yet, uh, but I was told that he also, our tub guy, came out and started working on this tub here. So it doesn't look like he's touched this one yet. So this is what the original tubs look like to kind of give you an idea. Again, we'll glaze this. And this tile here, we'll have him glaze that as well. We're not gonna rip out the tile in the tubs. We've already ripped a bunch of the tile in the tubs out, full disclosure, but we are not going to be ripping out new any more of them because we're just gonna glaze them. At one point in time, we decided that it probably made sense to rip them all out and just put new surrounds in. The surrounds are about 500 bucks, 
plus the cost of labor, ripping it out, fixing the drywall, putting the new trubs around in, caulking it. You know, it's probably somewhere around eight, nine hundred bucks, maybe even a thousand bucks to do that. Whereas the guy that's doing our glazing, I want to say he's glazing the surrounds for three hundred and fifty dollars. So it's about a third of the cost to glaze the surround than it is to rip it out and redo it. So he's going to be glazing almost all the tubs just because they're dated and they need it. Obviously the ones that we've ripped out the surround, we're gonna have to put the new surround in, but the ones that we haven't ripped the surround out, which is probably about three quarters of them, so the majority of them, we're just gonna have them glaze it. Save some money, it's gonna look brand new, clean, fresh, and it's gonna be awesome for the new tenants. All right, 1101 is where we're at here today. We ripped out the bathroom. Put the drywall up. There's gonna be a kitchen along this wall. This will be kitchen family room in this unit. Obviously it needs a flooring paint, air conditioner, and a kitchen, but that's all right. We're working on it. Here's the doorway going between the two. So you can see 1101 here has the nice label, but if you go on this side, it just has this a uh, little bit more discreet label on the door. So this side here will be the bedroom and the bathroom, whereas this side will be the kitchen and the family room. And our guys are out here now working on this, cleaning it up, getting the drywall up. We'll have to glaze this tub. This will be another one that we'll get to glaze. We're not gonna rip this tile out anymore. Uh, we're just gonna glaze over everything. So it'll definitely be a lot more cost effective to do it that way. Looks like we've already done some painting in here, but we'll have to do some more, obviously, after we get a little bit farther along. Man, this parking lot needs to be, re be resurfaced. We're gonna take these and not angle them and you know put them more of a perpendicular. We'll be able to squeeze more cars in. But once we seal this with you know asphalt sealer, the oil, it's gonna be all black. It's gonna look clean and fresh. Uh, Change those to perpendicular versus angled. Stripe them with nice big yellow paint. This is gonna look so nice once it's all done. We still gotta paint the gutters, the fascia board. Still got some painting to do, but the majority of the, of the red cedar that was here in the past has been painted, which is so nice. Still need to do some shutters. These doors need to be painted labeled with all these windows look so good i'm so happy to see that we've got all these windows done here's a door that's been painted and it's coming along slowly but surely you can see we got our new metal roof on the whole building the solar panel install i believe is scheduled for next week and this is kind of a cool little area up here at some point once we get this project all wrapped up man these doors look so nice don't they love these doors the paint and the windows everything looks good up here at some point in the future we will probably just put a couple chairs up here like some nice ones you know that the tenants can use all right we also gonna have to seal all this i mean we're gonna have a lot of paving ceiling to do out here but we gotta wait for the weather to get a little warmer and also can't do it we've done some patchwork already but we still need to seal this middle place if you hadn't watched any of the previous videos on this project we are gonna make this a green space we're gonna most likely do kind of like a horseshoe a real wide horseshoe retaining wall that'll be you know three or four blocks high nothing crazy maybe two feet keep the cars out of there and then we'll put uh, grass and some picnic tables, which will be awesome, It'll be really nice. Now I know that they've had done some of the kitchens over on the back side of building one. I think this is the one that's done. This is 1110. And this is also not done yet. We got a lot of work to do over here still. Another example of a unit that hasn't been touched. One here, aha, this one's been done. Nice new floors, We've got to clean them a little bit, but they look good. White trim, walls are painted, new ceiling fan, got a closet. This has got a new surround in the bathtub, vanity, toilet, light bar. This is awesome, coming together. Here would be the kitchen. 
Where's my light switch? Here it is. New flooring, new cabinets, new appliances, new granite countertops. Still need to put our sink in. Now we're not doing dishwashers, we're not doing garbage disposals um, in these units for a number of reasons, which I don't really want to get into in this video, but as a landlord, those are problems typically. And just because we're not really trying to get crazy on the rent over here, we want to keep the rent affordable uh, because this market can't really support uh, crazy, you know, crazy rents, of course, right? This is a, a market that is going to make more sense to keep it more affordable. So the goal here would be to try to re reduce uh, any maintenance as, as much as we possibly can at this point, which is great. All right, we are on the back of the building in the middle, and this is basically going to be the office. It's not very large. This right here to the right is... I think this light switch works nice this is the existing mechanical room all of the mechanicals coming in we built this wall right here and put up this door because the solar company that's going to be out next week to install has to put a bunch of equipment on these walls and all the panels will be linked into this equipment here i would imagine that one of these two meters here is going to be swapped out if not both and it's going to be a bi-directional meter and what that means is that during the daytime the meter might actually or hopefully will spin backwards so we'll actually start getting credits for the meter spinning backwards and then at nighttime when the sun isn't out and the tenants are using the electric for heating and cooling and lights and all that good stuff the meter will spin the the right direction and the goal with the solar panels is to reduce the cost of the electric bill ideally by about 75 percent now the cool thing about these credits is they roll over for up to 12 months. So in the summer months, at the end of the month, we should ideally have a bigger credit than cost and have no bill. But then in the fall, the winter, and the spring, we would then of course have a bill. Um, and again, the credits offset the income. The electrical company at this point in time you know, isn't interested in paying us to provide power. You know, they're not necessarily wanting us to be a mini power plant. It's really more utilized to offset your own expenses and reduce your expenses. So with that being said, that is the mechanical room where all the solar equipment that's not on the roof will go on these walls here. This used to be the old office. And over here, we are gonna eventually put a bathroom in right here. And then right over here, we can use this to do some on-site leasing. Right now, you can see it is stocked up with materials, paint, mini blinds, ceiling fans, caulk, faucets, locks, fire extinguishers. We have a lot of material in here. We even have one of Elon Musk's, what do you call these things? Oh man, satellite internet. I'm drawing a blank. Starlink for this community. So not only is it going to be um, on solar, but it's also going to have satellite internet, which is awesome. One of the great things about this building, which really made this project interesting and great, was we have these chases. Now there's two firewalls in this main building. So this chase goes to that firewall. On the other side of the firewall, there's another one that's about double this length that you can access from the outside of the building. And these chases provide access to all the plumbing, all the electrical, both plumbing for the, you know, the discharge, which is underneath this floor here, about six feet deep, um, as well as the water that um, is gonna be provided, the hot and cold water to the tents. So having these chases is really great. There's another chase over here on this side. So basically between all of the units, you have these great chases with your panels. You can see this was the old board of when we bought the building. And I think there was 67 units in this building when we, when we bought it originally. So we're converting it to 40. At one point, we were going to try to do 44, um, but rookie mistake that we made, we didn't account for the firewalls. And we had uh, firewalls basically going in the middle of units, 
And firewalls are made of cinder blocks. It's difficult to cut a hole in that and really you're not supposed to. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a firewall. So we had to reconfigure some of the units and we went from 44 units down to 40 units. But the advantage though, sometimes there's pros when you make mistakes, the advantage is now we have some two bedroom, two bath units. Whereas before we didn't have any two bed, two bath units. It was all one bed, one bath units and studios. Now we will have those additional units. Uh, I think there's four of them that will be two bed, two bath units. So we'll be able to charge a little bit more money and rent on those offset the other units. All in all, it's not a big deal. It wasn't a bad mistake. It was just a mistake that you make as you go and you learn. You don't know everything until you go and you try it. So that was one of the mistakes that we made on this project. Uh, but again, not a huge deal. No problem. All right. Next, I want to go upstairs. We're on the back of building two. And I have been told that we have some kitchens in. We still need to paint these doors, of course. So these are some of the two bed, one bath units. And it's random because this whole floor, right? There's the front side of this building, the back side of this building, and then there's this building here. This is building two, it's just got one side. But on the second floor of the back building one, which is where I'm standing, all of these units are two bedroom, one bath units. So the bedrooms are kind of small, as you can see. We got paint, ceiling fan, we're still waiting on trim. We got the flooring in. We got the cabinets in, which is great. Kitchen sinks will go there. Here's the other bedroom. And then they have bathrooms in the middle between them. And you can see we got a new vanity, new toilet. We ripped the surround out of this one, so we'll have to put a new one in, but that's okay, no big deal. We're gonna have to uh, glaze this tub. And there's our shower nozzle. Bought a bunch of those in bulk, which is great. So this one has the cabinets in, but it doesn't have the countertops, but there are a couple that I saw last week. So let's get in these units and take a peek that have the countertops. Here is an example of one. So flooring's in, trim's in, paint, cabinets, countertops. Oh, and that other one where we were missing this here, and we I think we ordered six more of these to fit in the differences, but regardless, sinks in. So we have new appliances, new cabinets, new granite countertops. Trim looks good. So again, this is a two bedroom, one bath unit. Has the closet, fan, new windows. This is quite the project. All right, let's take a look. We got the new vanity, new toilet. I put some light bulbs in our new light bar. We still need some fans for the exhaust. Tub needs to be glazed. And we need to put in a new surround. But we have a bunch of surrounds already here. And again, we're gonna glaze some of the existing ones that we didn't rip out. Here's is the second bedroom here, as you can see. Ceiling fan, closet, trim, flooring, paint. We went around and changed out all the light, uh, the electrical outlets, as well as the light switches, because the ones that were here originally were 50 years old. They were gross. They were different colors. They were, you know, painted over and yellow and nasty. And a lot of them were broken. And, you know, so we did that for a couple reasons. One, it looks clean, but also this building doesn't have sprinkler systems in it. So anything that we could do to mitigate a potential chance of a fire down the road we opted to do. We are also putting in fire extinguishers, which there's not one in this unit yet, but the fire extinguishers are gonna go on the wall in the kitchens. There's the fire extinguishers there. We just haven't hung them yet. Um, that we can put in the kitchens. At some point, we may come back and sprinkle this building. Because we have those chases, which I showed you in a previous clip here, you know, adding in um, a fire suppression system you know, isn't necessarily that difficult because of the fact that we have these chases already. But right now our main goal is to get all of these units turned over, get them rented, and then get this building refinanced, 
and then most likely we'll come back and we will do you know some of these other odds and ends like you know adding a sprinkler system to to the building so this one here looks really good i think the one next door also has cabinets in it we still need to paint this door of course let's take a look aha nope see this is a before so I think we've gotten two or three, not exactly sure which ones. It's probably the one, those two down there. Two or three um, with these, uh, basically the kitchens that kind of come on an L. And basically all of the second floor and building one on the back side, which is again where I'm standing right here, has the two bed, one bath. So this is a kind of a before, as you can see, of what it's gonna look like. And here is the floor plan that you just saw next door. It's kind of the, uh, the renderings. We've already done some of the electrical swap outs, but again, we got a lot of work to do over here still. All the flooring, cabinets, plumbing, electrical, appliances. But you know, this is, this is a good video here to kind of demonstrate the before and after of this building. And you know, we, we ripped out some of the stuff in here. It didn't look like this when we bought it, of course, but the paint and the condition of the tubs and a lot of this stuff is the condition of how they were leasing this and how it was when we, when we bought it. So very, very cool, very, very cool. Let's head on over to the room. And I would also like to peek into the garage and get a look at the water softener talk about what we're going to be doing over there next too. On my way to the laundry room, I noticed that we do have this other chase here up on the second floor. It doesn't go uh, long like the main chase. This one really just kind of connects the front and the back of the building. We got a lot of trim in here that we're just kind of using for storage. And we ordered about, I want to say we ordered 40 new P-Tacs, which are these, uh, portable HVAC units. What's up, Steve? What's up? All right, we're here at 1208. I'll we'll get you my video here. Oh man, look at this, this looks great. And Steve, I know we ordered some more of these base cabinets for yeah, you. We should hopefully get those next week. So we got our new cabinets, new countertops, appliances. See, this is what I was talking about in my last clip here. Having the fire extinguisher on the wall in the kitchens is gonna be great. What happened to our cabinet right there? It's right there, but look at this. Did it fall off? What is this? It looks like crap. Uh-oh. Yeah, the uh, the setting of the uh, countertop. They're going to have to get these guys back out for that because this is all popped up right here yeah. too. So, things you find whenever you're doing your walkthroughs. But that's all right. We found it and we'll have them come back out and fix it. Yeah, look at the gap right there between the uh, yes. backsplash. So, you know, things that we find as we go. No big deal. This unit looks great though. All in all, minus that couple little things there and this is one of the two bedroom one baths so like I was saying earlier in my video the building is comprised of a couple different types of units we have our studios and again got the new surround in here vanity toilet we will need to glaze this tub uh, but the building is going to consist of a couple different unit types. We are going to be working off of one bed. We have studios. We have one bed, one bath. We have two bed, one bath. And then we have some two bed, two baths. So we have four different types of units uh, that are going to be going into this project. We're about, what is the day today? The 22nd? I think it's the March 22nd. We are about halfway done with building number one. We just kind of determined that we're about halfway done with building number one. Building number two has eight units. Building number one has 32 units. So if you, if you want to look at the entire project, we're probably about, what do you think? 40% on the whole project, 50% on building one, give or take, somewhere like that. So it's moving though. Every day we're making moves, gutting stuff, cleaning, putting in new, Cabinets, flooring, windows, p tacks roofs, all these things, all these things. Painting. Uh, so we're really happy with the project. It's coming along. Let's go take a look at the laundry room. And we have six or seven more that are about done. And you've seen a couple of them in this video. 
Um, so we're hoping by the end of the month, today's the 22nd, that we will be, maybe not have eight leased, but we'll have eight ready and be leasing eight units by the end of March. And then we're hoping to add anywhere from four to six units a month moving forward thereafter. So let's go head on over to the garage where we have the well and the water softener. Give you guys a quick update on that and then we'll wrap it up. All right, this is uh, basically building three. There's no, nothing's gonna be rented in here most likely. Maybe at some point in the future, maybe we'll lease these garages, but most likely we'll just keep them for storage and maintenance. We did order metal for the roof, it's inside, you'll see it in a second. So we're gonna replace this roof at some point, paint the gutters, paint the red, same color as we did all this gray. And you can see we still haven't got the gutters painted. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but uh, the roof is all on, on these two buildings. So you got building one, which is two sides, building two, which is the one side. Oh yeah, we got our mailboxes in, of course, too. We're still waiting on the roof. We gotta build the roof out. And, uh, but we got these mailboxes, which is great because this costs us about, oh, I don't know, maybe three grand all in versus going and getting those uh, CDUs, cluster junction boxes or cluster boxes, the metal ones that you often see at apartment complexes. Those metal boxes are so expensive. It was gonna be $12,000, $12,000 to do the, um, the junction boxes to get up to 40 of them. And for $3,000, we were able to do that We'll probably have to spend another thousand to you know put the the canopy and the roof on it uh, but at the end of the day it's much much cheaper and those boxes are bigger they're much bigger so here's the metal you can't really see it all that great but here's the metal for the bit for the roof on this building here here's some more of it here some of the trim and whatnot but this will be the the steel the metal that we've already ordered and, and obviously received that will go on this building here and then over here is the well and we sit above a billion gallon lake so we don't have to pay for water only sewer you'll notice that there is a meter on this and that meter is so the sewer company can bill us but we are not paying for water now this is all corroded it's all iron all the way i think it turns into copper somewhere over there and we are gonna be replacing all this in the next week or two. Um, we're gonna be using PEX. We have also installed this water softener system. And I showed this in a previous video, um, but the water softener system is actually getting clogged up. And I believe we have it off at the moment. It's got about three quarters worth of salt in. Um, it's getting clogged up because of all the rust in the pipes so one of the things that we're going to be doing not only are we going to be redoing these pipes but we're going to be putting in what's called an iron curtain and the iron curtain will basically filter any of the rust or iron out of the water before it hits the water softener system here and and then the water softener system will uh, then go over to the main building you out of here see you brother Okay, cool. If you need, I'll be here. Okay, cool. Um, so we have an iron curtain going to a softener. To basically, it's going to filter the water for rust and, and metal. The softener will then soften the water, which will then carry it over to the laundry room where you have the two instant water heaters and the big tank. We may have to add a third one at some point in time, but hopefully not. Um, so we had to do a lot of plumbing work on this project. Um, oddly enough, but the good news is is we don't have to pay for water because we're sitting above a huge 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 underground uh, Lake that we can pull from forever and ever. I don't ever foresee us having to go to city water So we do have some savings there when it comes to comes to that which is awesome so Guys and girls that is a wrap on this video. I just wanted to come out give you guys a quick update uh, I think it's the 22nd of March today. And we're about halfway done with building one. We're probably about 40% done with the project as a whole. 
uh, one unit leased and I think we're about six months in. I think we bought this in October, end of October. So we're roughly six months in, give or take. One unit lease after six months. But the good news is at the end of this month, we should have seven more, six or seven more. I think it's about eight that we can start leasing. And then, like I said earlier, we're hoping to gain anywhere from four to six units a month thereafter. So we still probably have another five or six months on this project. This would probably be about a year. That's what we figured from the get-go. We figured it'd be 12 months. Um, but we're excited. It's coming together. It's slowly coming together. In the beginning, we focused a lot of our time and effort on the exterior, the roof, uh, the painting, stuff like that. But now uh, we are, we're rocking, as you've seen. We're, 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 we're rocking and rolling. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed all of my banter today. <laughs> uh, but this is just a quick update video. You know, it's always good to document these things. So I just figured I'd update y'all on the progress of the project. We're almost 50% done with the project. And we got about another five or six months, most likely. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Signing off. So easy, we close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it. We'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do.